Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to continue our command line basics series by teaching you how to move and copy files. Now, this becomes particularly useful if you don't have access to any sort of interface where you're used to dragging and dropping, or maybe Command C and Command V uh, to copy and paste things. Uh, but it comes in definite handy if you are SSHing into your server and need to move some files around or change your file structure or anything like that. Basically, it's a command you use fairly often. So to start off, we're going to use our basic commands that we had learned in the last video, and we're just gonna move into my sites folder. You can move pretty much anywhere, but in this particular example, I'm just gonna move into my sites folder. So I'm gonna CD, and then the folder is sites, and then level up. So. I use the ls command to uh, that we learned a couple videos ago to see what's in here, and I have all these folders. Now you remember in the second video we learned the mkdir command to make a new directory. We're going to make a new directory test ls to confirm that we do see test in there. Now I'm going to touch a file, and we're just going to touch index.html and that creates index.html. So here's, a, here's an issue, right? We made index.html and it's outside of our test folder. How can we move index.html into our text folder? Well, luckily the command is just mv and it's really easy to remember. You move mv, mv, you know, makes sense. So the way the mv command works is that we say the mv is the source and then it, the second parameter it receives if you're not using any arguments is the target so this is where it's uh what file you're trying to move or what you're trying to move not necessarily what file but what you're trying to move and where you're trying to move it to so we want to move index.html and we want to move it to test now, if I hit enter, now run command ls again, you'll see index is gone. If we change directories into test and then ls, you'll see that we now have our index file is within the test folder. So this is great. We've moved the file and it was easy. Uh, it was super easy, right? Because we just ran one command. But let's say we have, um, let's actually touch a couple more files. Let's say touch um, yo.html, touch, and then hello.txt. Now we want to move all of these files into a new directory I'm going to create. Uh, we're going to do mkdir, and it's just going to be called public ls. You can see we now have a public and now let's move all three of these files into public. Now what we don't have to do is we don't have to say mv hello to public enter, mv index public enter. We can say hello.txt. Remember that I'm using tab to complete index.html and yo.html to public. I hit enter. Hit ls to confirm that everything is now within public and there they are. Now, what's something useful that you can do with the move command that you might not realize? Well, you can actually uh, rename files by passing two file names. If we wanna change yo.html in, into hey.html, all we can say is mv, mv space yo.html is the source and the target is going to be hey.html. All this does is it renames the file. Now if we do ls, yo.html doesn't exist anymore, it's just hey.html. Now what happens if we just wanted to move all of these files uh, that were in this directory and there was like a hundred files, right? We wanted to move all of them. Uh, you won't have to type mv and then each file individually. You can use what's called a wildcard. So if we say MV and then asterisk, uh, that's going to select every file in the current directory that we're in. 
or whatever directory you're specifying. And then we can say, move into the file behind us or the folder behind us. So this is going to take all these files and move them out of public, put them back into our test folder. So we went over in uh, a couple videos ago, we said cd dot dot means you're going a directory back. So to go and move things a directory back, we do dot dot and then forward slash. I can hit enter. LS shows that there's nothing in public anymore. CD dot dot to go back. LS and here are all of our files. Now likewise, if we wanted to move only the HTML files, we could also use the wildcard. So let's say now that the text file actually should be in the uh, test folder, but the two HTML files need to be in public. So this is actually really easy too. We can say mv and then asterisk dot html. So what this is saying is every single file that has the ending of dot html move into public. When the ls confirms that hello.txt is the only file in here and changing directory into public confirms that we now have hey.html and index.html. Now, let's say that we had a file. Uh, let's actually get a couple directories back. You can do that by saying cd dot dot forward slash dot dot forward slash. That takes us back two directories. Now we're into the level up folder. Let's touch a file that's called hello.html. Uh, so this file now exists, right? Uh, but we want to move this file into our project where our other HTML files are, but we want to also keep it where it is. In fact, we want to copy this file. So we're going to copy it and make a duplicate of this file and in that process put it into our new folder. So we can do this with the cp command or the copy command. For cp, it works very similar to the mv command. We can specify multiple files. You can use wildcards. And it is in the pattern of the name of the file you want and then the uh, name of the file or the location of the file where it needs to be. So again, the source and the destination. So we can say we want to move hello.html into our test and then public folder but we want to make a copy of it. So we can do cp hello.html as the source and then the end result we're going to say it goes into test and then I'm going to hit tab and then public and the end result is the file is also going to be named hello.html. Keep in mind if I were to type in a new file name here it would copy the file but give it a new file name similarly to what we did with the move command when we wanted to give it a new file name. So I hit enter. Now sure enough when we go into test public and look around we're going to see hello.html, hey.html, and index dot html. Now these commands have arguments that can be passed into it. You can tell them not to overwrite files and stuff like that. However, we haven't really gotten too much into arguments and it's important just to know the basics of using these commands to do their absolute most basic. Now you have the power to not only navigate through your file structure, create and delete files, but you can now copy and move files as well. So you should start to feel like you have a bit more control over what you're doing within your command line interface. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook or at Level Up Tuts forum pretty much anywhere. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.